Hi, you guys. I am back for another riveting round of Instagram made me buy it, where I see things in Instagram ads, buy them, and then try them out for the very first time with you guys. We have not had a very good track record with Instagram made me buy it. Um, I really only think there's been like one or two things that have really worked out. This product though, I really do feel like has a lot of potential. So I can't wait to try it out and share it with you guys. But before we get too far into it, be sure to like this video so that YouTube will show it to lots of other people. Um, and then subscribe and click the bell if you want. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. Welcome. I sew all my own clothes and come on the internet and talk to you guys about it. Introduce yourself in the comment section below so that I can get to know you a little bit better too. All right, so this product is the Needle Sorting Cushion from Madame So. And there's not much to it, right? It's this little itty bitty pillow, okay? I mean, it's probably what, three inches by three inches? And then they have printed on um, all your different types of sewing machine needles and then the various sizes. So my current system of sorting the needles that I have already used is just to stick them in the mat <laughs> that my sewing machine is sitting on and then using the little, you know, color guide to just to like remember which is which, which sometimes is harder to do because those little colors rub off. And then I'm like, well, I don't know if that was a stretch needle or not. So we're just going to go for it and see how it behaves. Um, so I do think that this will be helpful for that. I have grabbed a couple of needles here. This is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not really like a huge dem demonstration, but for example, I have this universal size 70 and you can just stick it in like so. I do wish, the only thing I wish is that they had the color codes for the types of needles and then the color codes for the sizes so that I didn't have to look it up every time. Um, but that could be something maybe I can add. Like I can just go in with colored markers and just put those in. But this one is yellow on top and then blue. So I know blue is 70. I don't remember what yellow on top is. Let's pretend it's ballpoint. So we're going to put that in. And then this one is blue on top and then purple. Again, I have no idea what that is. I'd have to look it up. Um, oh, but it's very thick. So I'm going to say denim. I'm going to say denim size 90. Obviously, I'm going to double check all of these. So you just stab it in there. Another sort of downside to this is like, okay, this is great. It's very organized and tells me exactly what I've got easily looking at it. But where do I keep this? This is going to go flying off of my table in no time. The girls, my puppies are going to, you know, inevitably pick it up and then they are going to eat one of these. <laughs> like Biscuit literally ate half a tub of lotion today. So don't tell me that my dogs won't try and eat absolutely anything that they can get their little grimy little paws and mouths on. So I wish that it had like maybe Velcro. So I could do some stick on Velcro and then stick it to the top, the top of my machine, like on the little thing that flops up. That's a really good option. Um, you could also like attach some um, elastic and maybe elastic it to like around your machine somehow. I don't know, but you do have to do a little bit of extra work in order to get this like stable somewhere. Maybe even like, well, I mean, this kind of acts as a hook, their little label. So you could put a little nail in the wall right above your machine, and then you could just hang it on the nail. That's really easy. Um, so that would work. Uh, so I don't know, this is, this is really cool. I really like this. Um, I mean, it's definitely not something remarkable in terms of engineering. You could probably make this on a Cricut, um, if you wanted to, um, you know, it's just literally sewn around three sides, cut on the fold and sewn around three sides. And then one of them is top stitched and then you just have this little grid on top. So again, you know, there's a little bit of batting inside nothing super remarkable in terms of construction so if you wanted to you could make it you could even just take some fabric and draw the lines on um but if you want to have a cutie little thing that of course has a little sewing machine and a little heart you know because it's so cute um grab it from madam sew 
I think this is going to be really, really helpful. So what I will end up doing is taking it from the package, using it in my machine for a project or whatever. And then when I go to swap it out, I'll put it into here and I'll know that all the ones in here have been used at least once. And then once I'm done with that, then it'll go into the little jar I keep for all my used needles that need to be tossed. So super cute, right? I will have a link in the description box for where you can go check out the Madame So needle sorting pin cushion. And um, yeah, not so bad for Instagram, right? <laughs> I will be back next month with a, another product. What will it be? Who knows? Um, but if you ever see anything on Instagram, TikTok, even the YouTube ads where um, it's a sewing product and you want me to try it, be the guinea pig, send it to me. DM me, email me, whatever you need to do, send it to me and I will buy it and try it because I'm just here to serve you. That's really what I'm here for. Um, I have linked in the insulate here a um, the last Instagram made me do it <laughs> video if you want to go check that out. Otherwise, that is going to do it for me and I will see you all very soon. Bye!